Hello, welcome back to Wartels. I've been waiting for a while to continue my let's play because I still have to solve the Grinmer area again, but this is the perfect time. So we have a huge update now, it's community update 1. And of course we have the big thing, which is helmet. A helmet or helmets for your warriors. Now the helmets are kind of like the same as the armor, slight, medium or heavy. Heavy armor of course looks the, the best. And the developer says that the helmets will give you a skill and you have... 30 new skills to the game. I'm not sure if they're all related to the helmets. I'll just say they're all related to the helmets, but you can also customize the helmets in a way that you can, for example, make the heavy helmet look like a light one and you still get the skill from the heavy helmet. Basically, you have uh, stamps, or I don't know what it's called in MMOs, but you can basically change your gear without losing its uh, effects or attributes. And you can also toggle them on and off in case you want to see your character's hair, hairstyle. We also have rare layers, which are obtained by fighting the ghost bear, more or less obtained by it. So as you can see we have a ghost bear, which is a bear with some horns and some more fluffy on the back. It's not too hard to kill, but it will provide a very very big challenge for newer parties as well. 1000 HP is kind of a lot, plus the damage is kind of big. If you kill the bear... You might get a Colossal Paw, and if you get the Colossal Paw, you might be able to craft one of the new layers. In front, from what I can see, we have 12 new layers. And they are called the Uncommon Layers. You'll be able to learn the matching rare recipe from your companion, so I guess you just need to put points. And also decided to give boost to the older ones. I'm not sure how many you have new. I think they might have redesigned. Okay, so this is just basically redesigning the entire layer system. You can run and you can hide. So if you stay in the forest for a few seconds, you will have the ambush status on you. And if you attack someone with the ambush status on you, your attackers, I mean your mercenaries, will get 20% chance of landing a critical hit, which is huge, and then you will get plus 10% damage taken. Which is amazing, because that basically almost doubles your damage output, more or less. I also redesigned the experience, because people think it's too hard to level up. I don't think it's too hard to level up. I think the problem is, you don't want to level up too fast, because if you level up too fast and you're playing on adaptive difficulty, which is the only way to play the game, in my opinion, adaptive difficulty is the only way to play the game, otherwise you'll have a lot of problems. I don't even want to talk about it, I have a video about this anyway. So you can level up to level 5 or 6 pretty easy, but to reach level 12, people thought it was too much, but it's, it was not too much. So they rebalanced it so you can gain more experience for professions. Okay, so some professions were harder to level up and some were easier. Like for example, the miner were easy to upgrade, but the chief was harder to upgrade. So now that all of the professions are easier to upgrade and also all of the... Experience gained for level up purposes are easier to get. Balancing. So they also in introduce more hard missions to the bounty board based on game difficulty, player level and how many missions you completed before. The average level of enemies you'll encounter in forest. And they also started scaling the movement attribute of enemy units depending on their level. Oh no. Uh, this means one thing. So, if you're the enemy's hair level, they'll have more movement points. This was a big, big problem because they couldn't reach your arches or your rogues. So, I've played a little bit and I saw in two combats, their warriors were able to reach my archer line, attack my archer, or even my rogue. So, more or less, the more dangerous enemies now are the ones with axes because they can hit two people. They made several changes to the calculation of suspicion and finds. Fivery was an intimidating path for newer players, but way too profitable for those who are well versed. An item that is consumer use for crafting will continue to be tracked as long as the player is researched. Okay, so I guess you don't lose the the fine you will get if you get caught. Change your tune. Three new songs. For the bard, you know what, the songs for the bard are stupid, because you have to complete some really stupid challenges, I don't know, they could have modified them a little bit. And then you have some fixes, some accessibility, a magnifying glass option has been added, hmm, why, P? Quick save, shortcut, F5, rebind it, okay. 
you can run by holding a double click. Interesting, but I rather press shift. <laughs> some fixes, some items, fixes, and that's about it. So let's play and kill the wolf and the bear and the other stuff. The boar, the bear. As you can see, it does a lot of damage at this level. Oh, we're only fighting three animals. Well, that's going to be a little bit scary because that means they'll be super strong. Keep in mind, why party is level 8, but the armors we're using are much, much higher rarity than we should be. So we're pretty strong at this point of the game. Still not anywhere close to being overpowered. Also, remember that they fixed the, <coughs> the issues with FPS quite a bit ago. So now FPS is kind of streamlined and a little more optimized. Let's see how the bear is. I guess the bear is not too bad, but you do get stacks of the terror. Terror the horror. I guess it's more or less the same as always. 137. I guess we also have to burn the little bear, otherwise it will be hard to handle. Of course the weakening blow you don't get a lot of damage. The nightmare has appeared, but why? Oh, okay, so this is much, much harder now because the nightmare was... I mean, the nightmare is much, much easier to kill than the ghost bear. Okay, so I guess this was a huge buff to the ghosts one because it's... Yeah, I guess it was kind of a joke. Now it's not really a joke anymore. It's super dangerous now. Die already, you silly little bear. Go hunt for a picnic basket. It's berserk. It will do 100 damage, but because of the reduced damage output, it only did 50 damage. Get one stack of terror. Bye bye, wolf. <laughs> like that, he does his little dance like he's a boxer. He got the fire. Huh, that's funny. Because he had fire and he got the fire and he got a double attack. Man, those birds do really destroy in your, in your parties or people. Colossal Paw. I guess you get one. Ah, that was a hard fight. So this is the new ambush modifier, as you can see. I guess I should just look for fights. Or we should just go into Greenmare and see if we can buy some helmets or do something with them. By the way, at this point of the game, you probably should be using your food a lot more and a lot more efficiently. So don't forget about that. I guess you also need more salt. So as you can see, we're using up the things that would, that were stolen, but uh, yeah, they will still count as stolen even if we eat them. I guess they know the course just know now. Engraved chalice, thank you. Oh yeah, we have to do the tomb and after we do the tomb we'll probably get a lot of 
close to get the other sepulchers. It looks like these fixes also contain minor adjustments to the way the FPS is working or the optimization is working because now I have to say the game is almost 100% optimized. Yeah, you still get FPS drops like there was 20 FPS drops, but overall it's so much better. I mean, if you remember how the game was in the demo, oh, that was so bad. The demo for the game had such terrible optimization issues. I guess we can try the new F5. Oh yeah, that's much better pressing F5. Wait. Auto save. I still have my early access saves as you can see. Hmm, who is the loading time now? I guess the loading time is still a bit of a mess. Yeah, I wanted to cover the game much sooner, but sadly, I you know real life. Oh, Toto save is from the button. No, no, we don't do that. I had some things to do in real life, and also I'm covering quite a few games right now, and I want to finish most of them. I really want to finish Marsma Chronicles, but I don't know. It seems like games these days are more designed to make you waste time than anything else. So let's see if we can lead them to a forest and we can ambush them here. Or do you... I guess you have to be deeper in the forest. Said ambusher over there. I don't know. If, oh, we don't have the ambusher. Okay, and they also saw us. The enemies do have helmets, but I think their helmets are mostly dependent on their level. So at level 12, you'll see a lot of enemies with helmets. At this level, you'll see only half of them, maybe. Outlaw helm, venomous coating, one poison. Oh. Then you need din per damage, okay. Oh, so you you poison the enemies that are attacking you. So keep in mind the armors were redesigned or rebalanced. So the guard and the total armor are more or less split with the helmets. And these are max level, these are level 10. So they are level 9 and the gear is level 10. So that's the maximum I can see this at this point. Also, the shields will provide you armor and guard, so that's amazing, look at how much, okay. Okay, and now I'm really excited to play the game because that means we have a lot of new things to collect for our group. Assassin's Trick 9. This unit gains poisoned weapon for 2 round instant. All attacks apply to poison. Okay, that's again a little bit too much in my opinion, but hey. Bandit focus, enhanced precision for 1 round, critical hit increase by 20%. I guess you still need to use the Valor Points to activate the skills. Criminals <laughs> Barboot. Oh no, yeah, that, as you can see that makes them much stronger now. I guess you have to play a lot smarter now. And they do activate their helmet skills. was a very good hit. And now, 
as you saw, he had enough movement points to get all the way over here. So they really rebalanced and redesigned most of the things that had problems. And I can appreciate that very much. Because our party was becoming overpowered with the attacks we are dealing and stuff like this. Oh, this will hurt a lot. <laughs> Two points gained. Well, getting inside here is the easy part. Getting out is the hard part. I don't worry, you still have a few attacks for you, my friend. But I also don't see a way to get the helmets. Maybe they are on sale sometimes, but I checked two or three merchants on my way here and none of them had the helmets. Also completed three fights before this one, these ones, and none of them gave me a helmet. So I guess the helmets are a rare loot. Oh yeah. I have to really remember this. Now they have a lot more movement points. Denied. The fighting is a lot more dynamic now and also a little more fair for the enemies because we're just killing them one after the other. I mean we're still doing that without a problem. Didn't get hit? Why? Eh, who cares? So yeah, if you're running an optimized build like I'm running right now, you don't have a lot of problems. I guess I should make videos for the loadouts, but I wanted them to be maxed out at least. <laughs> the smoke clears and we kill them. Hey, no helmet drop. I guess I could go over there, find the dragon bones, and I can do that quest finally because we have um, explored all of the map. I don't remember this part of the map, so let's just go into the city and see what we can buy. Oh, I guess it's this way since we see merchants. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? They changed the voice actors a little bit. I don't remember this voice line in the game. Yeah, okay, let's see. Okay, from the rest of the episode, we'll just look at merchants. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Well, uh, actually you are. You have good wares. I guess we can sell this stuff over here. I don't really need any of this. Even though it might seem like it's good because it's so high level. I guess I can keep that. Look at this, 91 armor, or light armor, or no, this is medium, this is medium. Eighty-four. Yeah, it's so hard to replay. Oh, look at that guy, the plumed helmet. This guy needs a helmet as well. I guess we can make a camp here in the middle of the road. Sadly, playing in my current game wastes a lot of time just because of how many things I have to do. So when I camp, I have to use these items. Also, 
kind of give myself myself and my party a few buffs. <sighs> you know what? Let's start clearing all of these all of these nasties from my inventory. Ah, just drink one of those. It'll be okay. It's wasteful, but it's okay. Eight units for the group wearing no equipment. Not sure what that new songs are or how you unlock them. I thought they would be there. Okay, so let's look at the helmets and whatever we can unlock from the compendium now. Chest plate. I don't remember that one. Oh, we can. We can learn the whip. So you have the regular layers which are meh. You have the reinforced ones which are the upgraded versions. And then you have the colossal reinforced ones. Oh, I like this one. Does you require a knowledge point? I guess you have to create the other ones. To reveal the other ones. Okay, that makes sense. So I guess you have to craft everything now. You can also craft the horseshoes now, really? Okay, so I guess these are just much better versions of the ladder. Oh, we need two colossal powers. For example, the stag. Four strength and 18 armor. They just double the bonuses. Oh no, that means we have to check all of the vendors, meaning in the camps, for this. Curious. Doesn't see anything about crafting helmets in here. What is this? Oh, I guess those are the helmets. Okay, let's go to the city and start crafting some of the helmets. I guess we know what was over here. That's the famous alien stuff, by the way. The trails made by aliens. Yeah, I guess trying to craft a few helmets would be a nice way to end the video, but still it's going to be annoying because... We have, we have to get through so much of it. I didn't see a lot of helmets for sale or from from loot. So I just assume that helmets. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Currently, will not spawn from the traders. Not be in their vending items. <laughs> I guess I choose the exact. The exact moment to come over here. Might I interest you, my humble way? No, they're not going to have anything I need. Might I interest you in my humble? No, no. Might I interest oh, you? Oh, in finally my one. Wares, my good sirs. Enhanced visibility. The tactician bike. What kind of enemy is that? Gives you one range. If time this unit is engaged by an enemy, they perform an attack of opportunity. How is that supposed to work? Don't tell me you can equip these helmets on other characters like this. It would be funny if it works like this. Wait, where is the helmet? Oh, it's over here. I can barely see it. I don't register it as a helmet. Yes, I'm not used to them. Ah, 
Master Magella Dance Forge. I think we should have enough supplies to forge stuff. Oh, I we... don't know what's going on at the Hovendort mine. I haven't received any ore in days. This cannot be allowed to continue. I guess you should also question them for the fun of it. Okay, let's craft the helmets. Oh, we're playing for such a long time already. I guess I don't want to do that because it's super hard to get the colossal pose. You only get one per fight. A light helmet. I need a rope. A medium helmet. Too early. I haven't practiced as you can see. Stability. That's interesting. Heavy helmet. Shielding. Oh wow, I guess that's cool. You'll get a lot more guard. <clears throat> okay, let's focus. The minigame is still as hard as ever, I like it. <laughs> Look at him with his little hat. Okay, this is beginning to be kind of fun. Can we craft some rope? I hope so. Looks like everyone is leveling up. Okay, let's craft what we have to craft so we can see all of the helmet recipes. Sorry about this, I was not really prepared for this video since as you can see it's so much work sometimes to just make one video. Celerity. I, this one da increases your damage for each debuff. Again, it's... You might think it's not much, but if you get two debuffs, that's 20% extra damage, which is really going to help you a lot. Okay, experience helmet sets. I guess I should really craft the ghost buckler as well. Okay, let's interrupt that for the ghost buckler. Don't worry, I'll make a separate video where I showcase and highlight these helmets, but for now, we'll just grab them. And the next video will be about showing them. At Ghost. Okay, they're really insisting on the ghost leather stuff, ghostly headband, so this is just an upgrade of the other one. So then, movement reduced by half, what do you mean? I guess it's, the skill has the same name, Celerity in level 2, or Celerity 2, but here it doesn't affect you from slowdown, I guess it has a different effect. Oh yeah, this game is a little harder than I remember it. Okay, the boar helmet looks like fun. This unit is not affected by fragility. It's not, it was not such a big problem either way. I guess they're trying to increase the utility first of all. Oh, that was so fast. Eh, okay, I guess I'll have to manage. Ghost Ursinine Helm. Shielding. Well, this is more or less the same, so it's two and over here it will be three. That's going to make the tank so tanky that you can barely break his armor. Perfect. I'm not sure if this is good armor or bad. I guess the ones you craft will be better than the ones you can buy at lower levels, but at the higher levels of the game, definitely finding the 
helmets will be the better option. Oh yeah, we also have the last ones, the journeyman and the masterwork. Okay, so we have a lot of elements to get through. I guess you have to make the rim still one as well. Slow down or blackout. Fragility or vulnerability. Oh, okay, this makes more sense. I guess the helmets are more defensive than anything else. <clears throat> okay, I have to start making rim still. I mean, I can make some rim still, but it will take me a while to process all of this. I mean, we need four. What do you need to learn the next level? Okay, let's take a quick look at this one. Ah, I guess the elements will kind of... Okay, fine. We'll, <coughs> we'll give it a go. Since the apothecary is right over here. I guess I was not expecting so many helmets. Well, I guess they said 30 helmets, but I what I can see... It's actually more related to the amount of uh, low-level helmets you can find or craft. As, keep in mind, you also have the Acadian steel. We haven't even started to do the Arcadian steel stuff. Okay, I guess we need to do a lot of work. Okay, okay, I'll be back on War Tales from now on because it seems like the game has a lot more content, not just me repeating the same content just to get to the <laughs> end game crafting tier again. I guess I should make the rim still hat. Oh, let's make this one, so we look like we're playing New World. <laughs> Remember that game? You say you're happy you did it, but I'm not happy. So, what do we have over here? You really have to craft one of each? I don't know, you look like, it really looks like you have to craft one of each to get to the last level because my blacksmith should be maxed out. Oh, he's not maxed out, he's only journeyman. Okay, I see. I see what the problem is. Well, I guess you can just craft the other ones for fun. But now this is just another thing I have to collect, because I have to collect one of each helmet. Oh, this is going to get really annoying. It will destroy my storage capacity as well. I guess I can store them in the town. Nice, I guess they're really good. So, can they wear... Oh, okay, so I guess they're not really... That's weird, so they can wear helmets of any type. That's kind of overpowered in my opinion, because you can give a heavy helmet to a medium armor guy. Which will eliminate... Oh, this is an overview. You cannot equip heavy helmet. Oh, or is it you can equip... A lighter armor, okay, you can equip lighter but not heavier. I guess this makes sense more or less. You can equip heavy and light. Nah, still can be abused, still can be abused a little bit. What is this monstrosity? <laughs> That's definitely a... See you next time. Bye-bye.